there, my name's Andy Hillier, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to play Face Down by the Red Jumpsuit Apparatus. Now I've never heard this song before this morning, but someone requested it on one of my other videos, so I thought I'd check it out. And it's a great song, it's fun to play, so I'm going to teach you the whole song in standard tuning, because I believe it's normally drop tuning, but I'm going to teach you the whole song in standard tuning, save you retuning your guitar. Just before I do though, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the notifications, uh, leave me some comments in the comment section, let me know where in the world you're from, what you thought of the video, and what songs I should do next. And if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support the channel, and you want to print the tabs off for this, then I'll put them on my Patreon page, I'll leave a link to that in the description. Like I say, my guitar is in standard tuning. Okay, so the song starts with some drums, and then the guitar part comes in with this. <laughs> Okay, so to play, this is the hardest part of the whole song. Um, so if you struggle to play these chords, you could just play power chords through them. Okay, so we've got a G minor seven chord. First finger barred across all the strings on the third fret. Then I'm using my second finger on A5. My third finger underneath it on D5. And my little finger on B6. And we're gonna play from the A string Oh, sorry, from the E string all the way down to the B string. So you get that G minor seven. If you struggle to play that chord, just play E3 and A5. And that'll still sound cool. So you got, oh, sorry. And that holds on for two bars. And then we go on to the next chord, which is E flat add nine. I'm putting my third finger on A6. Second finger on the D5, first finger on G3, little finger on B6. Playing the middle four strings. Again, if you struggle to play those, just play an E flat power chord, which is A6 and uh, the eighth fret of the D string. I'm gonna play the chord. And then we go to B flat, just take your second and third fingers up one string and bar your first finger. So you get B flat. And then the next chord we need is F over A, which is your first finger across the E and the B strings at the first fret. Second finger G2, third finger on D3, and you're gonna play from the open A string. And then there's a pick slide, so just get your pick and just scratch it along the top two strings for the last bar. Okay, so the whole of that line goes like this. So that's a little intro, that's, that is the hardest part of the song. Um, uh, then it goes into the verse, now the verse sounds like this. So there's two lines to the verse, this is the first line, and it starts off with a G5. So first finger, E3, third finger, A5, little finger on D5. And you just hit the beat one, and then you're just gonna chug um, quavers through the rest of the two bars here. Hope that makes sense. Then we're gonna do the same thing on an E flat power chord. First finger A6, third finger D8, little finger on G8. Same idea. Uh, you're gonna accent beat two and and three and in the next in the second of the two bars. So that's it. Or slowly that'll be. And then we go up a string to a B flat chord. First finger E6. Third finger A8, little finger on D8. Same idea to start with. But in bar 14, you're gonna go. Which is E8, then two of the um, B flat chords, and then play the note E6, and then two of the power chords. So, uh, so the two bars, bars 13 and 14, slowly go. Oh, 
up to speed. And then we go down to an F power chord, E1 with A3 and D3. And then um, on beat three of the last bar there, you're going up to E13 and B13 at the same time. So slowly bars 15 and 16 go. Okay, so the whole line slowly goes to this. Up speed, one, two, three, four. Now the next line starts the same, first two bars are the same, um, uh, but then in bar 21 we get So you're hitting the B flat chord, two hits on, and then play E6, slide up to E8, then two hits, and then another hit on the E8, slide up to 10, another two hits, then E10, slide up to 11, another two hits. So you get slowly, uh, bars 21 and 22 go. Then E uh, E13 and B13, uh, we're just gonna go. Eight hits on that. Um, so the whole of that line slowly goes. Speed one, two, three, four. And that takes us to the chorus, which sounds like this. So to play that, we're going. B11, then G10, back to B11, E13, so the first bar, then B11, G10, E15, E13, so the first two bars, into the next bar we play the B11, and then down to D13, Back to B11, E13, so bar 27. Into the next bar, we've got B11, D13, E15, E13, so bars 27 and 28 go. And then bars 29 and 30, we've got, which is B11, G10, B11, E13, B11, G10, B11, E13, so you've got And then you're going to hold those notes down at the same time and go So five hits, da 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 And then put your first finger flat across the E and B, uh, E, B and G strings at the 10th fret and little finger on E5, uh, E13 and go so basically you're going, uh, those two bars. Hopefully that makes sense. So the whole of that chorus, a one, two, three, four. And that repeats, so you play that line twice. And then after that first verse, um, there's this next line which actually also gets used at the very end of the song. And you've just got this. So it's a G power chord, the rhythm's going da 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 And then it goes back to the verse, plays the verse exactly like we did, uh, and then the chorus. And then there's the middle eight. 
Now these middle eight chords, you could also use for the chorus as well. They're the same chords, uh, and they go like this. <laughs> So G power chord, uh, you can hit it eight times. Up to E flat, eight times. Then B flat. Then F. So hopefully you know where those chords are. Basically power chords starting from E3, there, or for a G chord, then E flat is on A6, B flat is on E6, and F is on E1. Uh, so the first line in that middle eight goes. Now the next line in the middle eight is the same thing, but on the F chord, we're going to change the rhythm to. So you're just going ba 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 ba. Uh, on the F chord. So that second line of the bridge goes one, two, three, four. Which takes us to the last line that we need to learn. It's just a breakdown. It's using the same chords as that middle eight, but going. So on the G chord, you're just going to hit it five times, going. Same on the E flat. Same on the B flat. And then just do a build on the F5, going. Uh, that then goes to the chorus, plays the chorus, and then it plays, um, doesn't play the lead line, it actually just plays the chords, which are the same chords as the middle eight um, section. Uh, until the very last bit, which just does that G5, where you get. And then that's the whole song. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed that little guitar lesson, especially the person who put it in the comments. If you put it in the comments uh, on one of my other videos, uh, let me know. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, give me a like on the video, leave me some comments in the comment section, including what songs I should do next. And if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support the channel, and you want to print the tabs off of this, then I'll put them on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Well, thanks for watching this. I do appreciate it. I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.